Are you doubting whether you are getting enough love? Do you feel strongly attached to your partner? Will you both be together for life? Are you both always trying to prove that you are the best couple in the world and your love story is going to be eternal? Pause and give it a thought. What is a fake relationship? It's a relationship that has no future. It's a relationship you're staying in because either you're afraid of being alone and moving on or you're thinking that things are going to change, but sadly to say, they will not. To make things easier for you, and to make you open your eyes, and embrace what's coming next, here are the 8 signs you're in a fake relationship, starting right now. One, the communication sucks. Good communication is a key factor for a healthy relationship. If you're in a relationship where the two of you barely talk, you can't remember the last time you had a heart-to-heart -heart with your partner, you just text each other every once and a while, it's just on and off, you don't know what's going on in the life of the other person, and it constantly feels like you don't know the other person, then you're not really in a relationship. You have formed a genuine connection only when you feel connected with your partner, emotionally, physically, and mentally. Whether it's a long-distance one, or a normal relationship, there has to be communication. It doesn't really mean that every second of the day you have to text your partner, but you really should know what's going on in their lives, how they feel, and what their day was like. Every once in a while, you have got to have those long night talks. There's no one else to interrupt the moment that only you two are together. You two can't stop talking to each other, opening up in front of each other, that's the true conversation you want. 2. There are no incredible moments. Your relationship just feels normal, nothing unusual. Together, you guys have no extraordinary memories, there are no amazing feelings attached to the time that you guys spend together. Love is an exceptional experience, and if it feels anything less than amazing, you're not really in love. This shouldn't be the case. It doesn't really have to be something really big, like a big event or moment, even small tiny things like the inside jokes, and having cute nicknames for each other, can mean a lot. There has to be something to which both of you can relate, and again, it doesn't have to be big, something that can either make you remember a sweet memory, or even make you laugh together. It could be a movie that you both saw together, a place that you went to on your first date. But in your relationship, there must be something like this, because if there's nothing like this though, bad news, you're in a fake relationship. 3. You don't know where your partner is going. Your partner is being a bit secretive about where they are going and when they are coming back. You don't have to know the full details, but if your lover goes out just to tell you where or with whom, would that be nice? It's not that you have trust issues, but if your partner behaves this way all the time, you're going to develop a major trust issues. And there is no point in staying in the relationship once you stop trusting them. The fact alone that they doesn't want to tell you where they are going is very doubtful, and it can only show you that they doesn't take your relationship seriously, and probably isn't even planning on staying for much longer. You're just a backup plan until they find something better. That is obviously a fake relationship. 4. Too much public displays of affection, PDA. You'd think that a PDA is basically a positive thing, but too much of it can be really suspicious and dangerous, like anything else. If your partner is all over you in public, and you're playing along with his show, then you have a serious problem. Your partner is just attempting to show to you that they are happy, and you're only benefiting them by doing the same. Your partner will turn into the cold shadow they were before when you get home. You do not have to justify to public your affection. If your partner has an overwhelming need to do so, then you are certainly in a fake relationship. 5. You are not fighting with each other. Well, don't get me wrong. Every couple fights at point or another, over one thing or another. This means the passion is still there in the relationship. I'm not suggesting every couple should fight with each other all the time, but having a real argument about something rational is okay. If you two don't argue at all about something, it could mean you two don't really care about each other. If they talk about a future together, like you two may talk about going to places together, getting kids together,
planning together for the future, than you are, in a real relationship. But if your partner neglect these topics, and want to talk about something else when you start talking about these, then you are definitely in a fake relationship. 6. You are always the one, starting the conversation. Your partner will only talk to you when they need something from you. That means he or she is fully aware of what they are doing and what kind of relationship they are in. It means that this type of situation works for them at the moment. Don't let them take advantage of you and just break it off. You've tried enough and you've started so many conversations which were all a one-way street. You've pulled the words out of them and it just never ended well. Your partner obviously doesn't want to open up to you. Maybe they don't care for you that much, or they just have other plans. Anyhow, you are the victim here, and you probably have to leave this fake relationship. 7. You have no idea about each other's families and friends. A person who is concerned about you, wants to make you a part of their life, will always introduce you to their friends and family. If it's been a while, and you have not yet met the family of each other, and it doesn't seem to bother either or both of you, this suggests that the person doesn't want to get too involved and has set limits on how far the relationship will go. This can mean a few things, one of which is that the person is not entirely confident of you at all. They thinks this relationship somehow won't last long, and you two are going to split up eventually, so why bother meeting their parents or friends? Second, they are not interested in you at all. This might be for the sake of sexual pleasure, or time-passing purposes only. And it's not just up to them, it's also up to you to ask them, because if you don't care about meeting their friends or families, well, there's no love and affection on your side, either. Truly a fake relationship. 8. Your partner ego is just too big. Relationships are about mutual understanding, and then, there is something wrong with the picture, if one person has to be right all the time. If your partner keeps insisting all the time on getting stuff done their way, then it means your relationship is loveless. When you love a person, you'll show them that by letting go from time to time. Even if you think you're 100% right, you will still be listening to your partner. But, your partner doesn't do that, ever. They think they are right, and they are not going to admit it, even though you're completely right, and not them. Their ego are just too big for them to admit their mistake. That is a fake relationship for sure. It's sad but it's true that we are living in a world of fake relationships. This is best exhibited on social media. The need to show the hunky-dory image of a relationship is so strong, that people tend to work on the building the illusion, more than making an effort to make it genuinely caring and loving. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.